guys, it's Ariana and welcome to my channel. I'm in the process of editing, that's what I have on my robe. But if you follow me on Snapchat, then you see this robe every day, so this is nothing new to you. Be sure to go follow me on Snapchat, the link will be in the description bar. But um, yeah, so today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get these braids. They're super cute, they're dramatic, and they're really good for like going to school and stuff because, I mean, your brows and your outfit can both be on fleek because you don't have much to do to your hair. So they're really good to do, so if you'd like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I just tried to cover up that I messed up. But now see. Alrighty, love. So jumping right into this tutorial, I'm just gonna start off by putting my hair in a ponytail. And yes, I am giving you lioness realness. Yes, I slay. But no, I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail and I just use a spray bottle and some eco solid gel. But you know, you do you, I do me. This is just how I do. This ponytail is super tight. We need this ponytail to be really, really tight. And really, really high as well. That's gonna give us our dramatic look. So here guys, I'm just brushing my hair and I'm taking a headband that I've doubled twice and I just wrapped it around my hair about three times to make sure that my hair is super tight. I need it to be so, so tight so that it doesn't shift. Oh my gosh. That is so tight. I put this thing on so tight. So once you guys have your desired ponytail liking, now what I'm going to do is just take my blow dryer brush, I think it's called, blow dry brush, whatever. These brushes, paddle brush. That's what it is. I'm just gonna take my paddle brush. I hate hair in my brush. It's like barely hair in here, but it's still something that I can see. I hate that. That's another one of my pet peeves. I hate that. But I'm just gonna take this and brush out my hair. Okay, and I'm just gonna like play with it a bit just to see which side I want it to fall to. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this side, yeah. That's that. Now. I'm just going to take these two packs of hair. And I'm going to open them up. Open. I did not know this hair was like, it's kind of like a straight hair. I don't like that. I thought, I don't know. I don't know nothing about buying hair. But I thought I picked up the hair that was like the poofy kind. Like the cotton that I have already. But yeah, this is straight. Uh, I don't like this texture, but it's going to work for this hairstyle. I'm glad I did get two packs because this is so thin. Oh, my gosh. But I'm just going to take them by the rubber bands like this. I'm not going to take these rubber bands off because that's going to create like a big, big mess. I'm just going to like loop this rubber band around to ensure that both um, packs of hair is together. So I hope y'all can see. It's not really like much explaining that I can do, it's just. Okay, so yeah, now I'm just gonna grab all the rubber bands, even the ones that were there before. So now I'm just gonna take the rubber bands and put this onto my head. After the hair is attached to my head, I'm just brushing it out, then I'm just sectioning it into three pieces so that I can get ready to braid like a regular, normal, schmegler, regular braid. Okay, y'all, it is so, so important to make sure that you brush out your natural hair. Your, your hair don't have to be natural, but you know what I mean. Make sure you brush out your hair on top of the weave before you begin to braid. That way you don't create this bump, this lump like I did, but it's okay. But my finger's a little anyway. I couldn't grab it all the way. But just make sure you section out your hair. You brush it really good before you section out your hair so that you don't get this little bump like I did. Alrighty, love. So here I'm just adding a piece of lighter hair to my braid because I have highlights at the top and I do not want no jet black bottom. That's going to be so tacky and nasty looking to me. But so I'm just adding a piece of hair to the back of my hair, to the back of the braid I mean, And I'm just going to braid it in as if it were there before. Um, I don't really know how to explain. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully you guys can watch the video and see how I did it. But I'm pretty sure there's like several YouTube videos on how to get this. So throughout this video, you guys are going to see me keep picking up gel. Um, I'm braiding with this gel. Make sure that you braid with gel throughout this entire braid. I did not do this, but you know what? It's cool. It's Gucci. Still came out cute. But just make sure that you guys do it and braid super, super tightly. 
Okay, love. So once I reach the end of my braid, I'm just going to tie it off with an elastic band. And I'm just going to go through and play with it to make sure that my hair is to my liking. Now I'm just going in with some scissors and chopping these raggedy ends away. Bye, Felicia. To cover up that elastic band that we put on our hair earlier, along with the rubber bands that we used to attach the weave, I'm just going to take a piece of extra hair and I'm just going to wrap this around just to give it like a natural effect, you know, nothing major. <laughs> Okay guys, so once I've come to the end of that little piece of hair, I'm just going to take my bobby pins and I'm just going to pin it to the braid. And I'm just going to make sure that it's super, super tight. And I'm also going to play with my hair just a little bit, you know, fix up any little touches. Lay these edges, brush anything up. Of course, add more gel. I'm not gonna puff up there because that's puffed enough. One second. Everything, oh my gosh, this hair is like crazy. Okay, loves, this is the completed style number one. It's just a long braid, it's so dramatic. This style really helped me. I did it for like a week. I had to redo it, I want to say, like, on Thursday, I redid it. So, it lasted me for three days, of course, the way I do it. But you guys can, of course, add more gel and stuff. I just prefer not to do, like, so much gel. But, um, yeah, the style is super, super cute. I woke up. I didn't have to do much. I had time to do my eyebrows every day. I had time to put on, do a little something to my face. And my outfits were really cute because, I mean... I didn't have much to do. This really helped. I just tie my hair down with the bandana or with the scarf. And I also put like gel on my edges. Okay. So yeah, I just did that like every morning. And after doing that, I also found out that you guys can really make this braid into a super cute, high fashion forward bun. I don't know why I didn't think to do this when I wore it, but it's super, super cute. All you do is just wrap the braid around and you come up with this nice, beautiful, soft, it's not really soft, it's bold, but bold bun. I also took the braid and I wrapped it the other way because there was more color showing. So, you know, you guys do whatever you please. This worked for me. So yeah guys, this style is super, super cute. It was super, super easy to do. I just do not recommend this hair. Make sure that you're getting a hair that's the texture of something like this. Really like poofy in like air dry, blow dry um, hair because this texture was kind of like straight. And I didn't like that. But I don't know nothing about my hair either, but it still worked. Came out pretty well for this video. And let's move on to style number two. Alright you guys, jumping right into the second portion of this tutorial, I am just going to brush out this nasty, oh my gosh, this hair is so nasty, I hate the texture of this hair. I'm just going to brush out this hair, I've already put my hair in a low ponytail, I just add a little part for pizzazz, but now I'm just going to find the rubber band so that I can attach it to my ponytail. Okay, so here, love, I've attached the weave ponytail to my natural hair. I'm just going to go in and separate it into three parts, so that way I can go in with my regular braid. Always be sure that your natural hair is on top of the weave ponytail. This is what makes it look super, super natural. Now I'm just turning around. I just switched my hands just a bit so that it was comfortable for me to braid this way. I'm doing the same technique as I did in style one. I'm just going in with some lighter hair to make sure that the highlights are all throughout my braid. Okay, y'all, I have reached the end of this braid, so I'm just going to go in with my scissors and chop, chop away. And for those of you who do not know, yes, they call me little scissor hands because I chops the hair.
if your hair is sticking out like mine is in this video, all you have to do is just go in with some gel and lay it over those little flyaways. Or you guys can go in with some bobby pins or some decorative beads to keep it away. These beads are super, super cute. And I just went with this idea because, I mean, look at me. I'm slaying. I'm killing. guys so much for watching this video it truly means the world to me i just pray that we can continue to grow on this youtube journey together grow with me but no seriously thanks so much i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did filming it for you guys be sure to leave a comment below like and subscribe to my youtube channel